Somebody called the ambulance, but it ain't for me. Well, I just saw something annoying. Let me show you guys. This this is what I saw. Light bleed. Apparently, it's fairly common from these devices. I just happen to get lucky and not have to worry about it until now. It's just from putting in my bag, apparently. Like, what? That's so dumb. I reset the, the tablet, but that's so dumb. Like, I take care of this thing, so it's not like I'm throwing it around everywhere. Like, it's literally just from being in my bag. And it's always in this stupid case thing, too. Like, it was fine perfectly yesterday. And there's, like, a little one over here. Uh... The only good thing really is that it only shows up when it's like black black you can't even tell when it's like on gray or whatever It's still annoying in my opinion though that it even happened in the first place. Yeah So after the Indian slash Asian festival thing that we went to, uh, I stopped by the Adidas store and got some new running shoes. They look nice. They're like the laceless ones. I've been liking those a lot. Laceless shoes, just throw them on. When I tie laces, I tie them fairly tight. With these, I don't have to worry about tying them tight. I just slide them right on. I thought they were gonna be like around 130. Then I pick them up and it said 70. And then it was also 50% off of that. And I was like, okay. <laughs> these were the last pairs of 10 and a half they had. So I lucked out, I guess. So this is the most annoying thing. When you're ready to draw, you're just all excited, giddy to get start doing it. And then this, this, this oh. is not charged. <laughs> it's so annoying. I guess I'm gonna charge it. While my uh, thing is charging, I'm gonna actually go break these bad boys out and go for a run. Hopefully I like them. This discoloration on my face is kind of wild since it was low lighting. But yeah, I'm gonna test these suckers out. See if I like them. Hopefully I do. You probably hear the music that my Hispanic neighbors are playing. They are having a party and it's been like this since I came home from the mall so that's like a couple hours ago but uh these actually feel really nice they hug really nice they came like when i put them on they're kind of tight and i actually like that for running shoes where my other shoes aren't like tight like this so it makes it so it's like a lot nicer when i'm moving and it doesn't feel loose and they have like a little cushion to them so it's like raised a bit i didn't put these on in the store i just bought them because they were my size and they're the last one of my size too so i'm glad they actually uh fit nicely and they look pretty nice i'm gonna go running now so uh i'll let you know how i feel afterwards <laughs> all right it's the darkest outside. It's very odd. I've been running before. Like, these shoes feel fantastic. Better than any running shoe I've used so far. But I've never been running. And then my abs hurt. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah. So, my abs hurt right now. Which is very interesting. Because, like I said, whenever I've been running, I've never done that. So, I don't know what that means. But I'm going to finish it. But there's one lap left around this lake. And then I got to run a lap around my cul-de-sac. Or not my cul-de-sac. Like, the overall neighborhood street area. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. The more I run, the more it, like, intensifies it. I'm almost done with the second lap. There's just a little bit more to go. But, ooh, I've never had this before. before. It's literally just my uh, left abdominal area. It's not really my right side. It's just my left abdominal area. I I don't know why but uh yeah it is uh hurting a bit i'm gonna finish the entire thing nonetheless but uh we'll uh see each other after i finish all of it all of it all of it will be done by that time i just finished the uh the two laps around the lake now i gotta jog back to my neighborhood do a lap around there and go home i'm gonna throw up the uh, total distance i did for the two laps around the lake uh right now i did take a screenshot of before of like i did i did two miles walking early day i usually do around uh it's my 10k steps i don't know if i'm gonna be doing the 10k steps today but uh i did go out running instead so so there's that. But yeah, we'll see the total distance that I had gathered, subtracted from the two miles I did earlier by just walking around and then see how much we did with this just jogging and everything. So yeah. All right. I'm back. I'm done sitting on my porch. So the shoes, they feel pretty nice. They are pretty good. Nice, tight. They didn't feel loose at all. The only thing is my right foot, the arch feels a little bit of pain. I'm used to like walking barefoot or having like more flatter shoes than like actual like running shoes. So maybe that's the reason why. For the majority of the last lap around like the neighborhood, after the two laps around the lake, I pretty much walked most of it. Did the, I jogged some of it, but walked most of it just because the uh, pain in my stomach is subsiding now that I'm catching my breath more. This has never happened before. So that's kind of weird. If you're wondering why I'm rocking back and forth, I'm in a rocking chair. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it's just very odd. I don't know. But yeah, other than that, pretty smooth, smooth sailing, smooth running. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Thumbs up. I'm going to throw up the total time on the screen now or the total amount of steps I've did so far on the screen now. It is late, so it's 10 p.m. at the moment. So I probably won't be doing the rest of the 10K, but I did get out there and run. Cool, cool, cool. Now I just got to go inside and start drawing. I'll probably take a shower before then, then I'll start drawing. But yeah, nice. Got everything nice and done. It's a nice day. I didn't draw. I've been stuffed in my clothes that I ran in yesterday. It's kind of gross, but either or, I need to actually... 
clean my room once again. Who would have thought? <laughs> and I need to take measurements for something that I've had here for a while. You might have seen it in previous videos, but I never actually stated that I actually got it. But I got a couple of things that I need to set up to be able to do that. I want to clean my room and then measure it out so I can create a shelf. Here's the thing. <laughs> I had bought this thing all the way back in December 3rd, 2013. It is now not that. <laughs> and it's been a couple of months. Um, but yeah, this in this package is my Cricut machine. I bought it in, so I can make stickers and stuff like that, but I just never set it up. It was a lot bigger than I initially thought it was. I didn't really check the sizes. So I didn't have like room on my desk to set it up because I originally wanted to put it on my desk and just print a slash cut some sticker sheets out. But I didn't do that. So what I'm gonna do now is unbox this, get the sizing, create a shelf in my closet, which is to the right of me. Hopefully this will stand on that shelf. I don't know if I need this big of a cut mat sheet. I might buy a smaller one. I got it from uh, Michael's. I was looking at like the sizes that I'm gonna be cutting and it seems like I don't need one this big. I also wanna do something else today too. And that is print off some prints with this paper. Cause I bought this paper a while ago also. Uh, this is the 11 by 17 paper. Uh, same type of premium luster photo paper that I printed the eight and a half by 11s on. But I wanna print them off on 11 by 17. See how they turn out. See if this photo paper is quite well. This paper costs like a hundred and something dollars. So there's that. So I want to test that out too after I unbox this thing. A box inside of a box. What's up with that? 24 inches. 24 inches by nine and a half. This actually might fit on my, uh, my desk, but it should actually fit on my desk. I thought it wouldn't fit on my desk at all. Like I have a six foot desk, but with like how it's set up, it wouldn't currently fit. Huh, we might be able to do this without creating that shelf in my closet. Okay, interesting. All right, let's uh, check this bad boy out. I think I got, it's like the mint green one. Of course they have a different shade of green, but it is what it is. Cricket! What's in here? Let's get started. Activate your machine. Oh, this is actually smaller. Maybe I should have opened this like over six months ago. <laughs> This is actually a lot smaller. It is like 15 pounds, it feels like 10, 15 pounds. Interesting. Wow. It still realistically might be the best bet to have it over in the closet area. So I kind of want to make this closet the printing slash workstation area of my room, even though it is a closet. And I, since I don't have that much room, it'd probably be relatively good thing to do that. So I just remeasured this. The actual measurements for this is 21 and a half and six and a half, which is actually smaller than my, so that can actually fit on the desk relatively easily without me really maneuvering some, most things. I would obviously have to move here. This entire catastrophe, catastrophe, words are hard, I guess, and uh, clean it up a bit. But this will actually fit over there, which will be very nice. Uh, I still do want to see because I have a bunch of wood in my garage. I still do want to see if I can build this out. The lighting in my garage is atrocious, so hopefully, <laughs> the lighting in my garage is atrocious, so hopefully this doesn't come out too grainy. But this is the wood that I'm talking about. This was from the desk uh, tabletop that I built that's up in my room. So I got a really big piece of plywood back when the wood wasn't as expensive as it is now, which is uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty inexpensive. So I'm glad I keep all the wood that I tend to uh, purchase and don't throw away the extra pieces because I'll be feeling stupid. So it is fair. Fairly thick and width. So I can indeed. Uh, brain. Why can't I think? So I can indeed uh, build a shelf for this. But the main issue is I don't remember where I put my saw. So I'm not the only one that uses it. One second. One of my friends is calling. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So I just need to know where the saw is and then we should be pretty good. Uh, but I don't know where that is. So this whole plan of me making the shelf might be put on hold until I can find that saw or I'll just put it on the desk. So it's set up, it's all set up, it looks nice, but it doesn't come with blades. Uh, I thought maybe it was going to be in this like packet or something like that, but no, it doesn't come with blades at all. So I have to buy my own blades, which is interesting. You pay what, 200-ish plus for a machine. It doesn't even give you like a sample blade to go with it, whatever. And I 100% did buy too big of a, 
too big of a mat. So I will be uh, buying a smaller one of this. I need like half of this. So I'm actually being pretty smart. I am uh, editing earlier in the week. Today is a Tuesday. I don't have to go to work till 1 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to be editing this uh, because this weekend I am going camping. So as soon as I get off of work on Friday, I'm out in the wilderness going camping five hours away from here. So look forward to that when I uh, come back from there. But that will be in the next vlog. So anything after this, I'm still adding to the uh, footage, but it'll be edited after this. I did some off camera stuff and I uh, did two more emotes so we have a total of six i don't know how big the sticker sheet's gonna be maybe a total of eight but i don't i'm not entirely sure yet but i'm really liking these two right up this one is the okay and then this one is just fucking creepy <laughs> like it's mad creepy i don't understand how i made this look creepy either way i like both of them i might do two more and so that would make a an eight thing sticker sheet which isn't bad and maybe i'll sell those for like three to five dollars or something like that i'm not entirely sure yet i have to come up with pricing later but i am really liking this and this and i was just sitting here i was like i should probably do more so i started doing more uh, i like asking myself that every now and again am i doing enough to just get by or can i do more and most of the time is i can do more at that time so i did some more anyways i'm rambling running anakin looking like a mannequin got too many napkins Bapkins. so uh Something interestingly awkward just happened. I just came back from a pharmacy and uh, I have to get a shot to go to Bur uh, Bolivia. And that shot is called a yellow fever shot. So I'd ask the pharmacy attendants there if I could get a yellow fever shot. And they just happened to all be Asian women. And they just kind of paused and looked at me. And I just had to keep a straight face because that's all I was going there for. And I was just like, yeah, and it's a real thing <laughs> and I need it. But they didn't have it. After they paused, they thought about it for a second because they probably thought I was fucking with them. <laughs> so now it's time for the main juicy part, the title of this video. I actually got my reply back from the convention that I applied to, which was actually Otakon. So I got my reply back from, and lo and behold, I didn't make it. <laughs> I didn't get in. Uh, it says, thank you for your application for the standard table, Otakon 2024. Our tally, all of the spaces are currently full, but we will add you to the wait list or our wait list. We had an amazing artist apply in this year, including you. If for some reason you'd like to be removed from wait list, blah, 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 contact them. But yeah, I didn't make it, which is kind of a blessing in disguise, I think, I'm not really prepared for it at the moment. I don't have all the things I want to actually come to fruition to open up a shop slash a table or a merchandising table. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise, like I said. And I'm going on that trip for like two weeks and then I'm back to work for one week and then the next week would have been Otakon. So yeah, <laughs> that's a lot to just do all in that little time frame. So I will be continuing to create stuff as if I'm going to the con or tabling for the con. And even if I don't go to the con to sell stuff, I'll probably still go to con and then just vlog about it and uh i will be preparing more things for the next two cons that i want to go to because i already have two cons in mind that i want to go to so stay tuned for those uh stay tuned for the trip stay tuned for everything but anyways thank you guys for watching uh don't forget to like comment subscribe and i shall see you later peace uh -huh. Bye -bye.